fool man, I love jackets. The right one can just take an otherwise basic outfit and elevate it to something that is extremely stylish. What's up guys, I'm Parker York Smith. Now fall jackets, they are not just about staying warm as the temperatures start to drop. It's also an amazing layering piece for you to use throughout fall and winter. Understanding what you can be wearing for those in-between days where it's not super cold yet, but it's not really warm enough that you don't need a jacket, that's really important. So you can express yourself and you can be giving off the right vibes depending on what you have going on. Today we are talking about six of my favorite jacket categories for you guys to be looking good, feeling good, and boosting that confidence this fall. First up is the Western jacket. When you think of a jean jacket or a denim jacket, that style is called a Western jacket. That's the entire category itself. Now, of course, I love a denim jacket. I wear them all the time. I've made multiple videos about them, but I also am a huge fan of this one. It's corduroy. It's just a little bit of a mix up or like a suede is really fun if you want to dress things up a little bit. For the fit, you want it to be snug, but you don't want it to be crazy. Now, oversized has been kind of trendy, but I'm personally not a huge fan of it just because it's gonna go out of style and it's definitely not gonna be as flattering. When it comes to styling them, keep it with your super casual outfits, just like jeans or chinos. And if you wanna dress it up a little bit, you can wear a button up shirt underneath or polo shirt, just things that'll mix and match really easily. The second category is a suede jacket. Huge fan of a bomber style. It's just a great way to dress up your outfits because of the fact that it's suede. It's obviously very similar to a leather jacket. It is technically a leather jacket, but it's a little bit lighter. It's not gonna make you overheat quite as much as a thick, heavy leather style jacket will. I'm also a big fan of a moto style like this one when I'm just trying to throw a little bit more edge into my outfits. Fit on these should be very similar to the Western style. You want it to be fitted and snug, not skin tight, because you're gonna be layering underneath it, but you also don't want it to be too oversized because ultimately, you want this to be flattering. This is a really nice jacket to wear out to a date night or when you're trying to like look really nice. So making sure that it's fitted and as flattering as possible to your body type, that's smart. One thing to keep in mind with suede jackets, grab yourself a water repellent spray or whatever, spray it on there every once in a while just so that when it rains or snows, it's not gonna mess up the material. Suede is really sensitive. Category number three is the chore jacket. These are hugely popular right now and I am so happy about it. It's kind of like a new school denim jacket. A jacket like this is just your everyday beater. Throw it on, beat it up. The more you wear it, the more it's gonna break in and just really form to your body type and it's gonna look even better the more that you wear it. For the fit on these, you are gonna have it just be a little bit bigger. You don't want it to be crazy tight on your body because it's just gonna be uncomfortable but I like to button it all the way to the top and just wear it sort of like that. You can almost wear it kind of like a shirt jacket because it's lighter weight material usually. And overall, it just ends up looking really nice. Keep this within very casual outfits. It's not really made to be worn in a dressy way. Category number four is the bomber jacket. For those casual days when you're just gonna be running errands or if it is like raining outside or starting to snow early on in the winter time, a bomber is perfect because a lot of times it is made out of a nylon style material so it's very water resistant, but this is a great one for those days when you're just wearing jeans and a t-shirt or even sweatpants, a bomber jacket is perfect. For the fit on these, it's really up to your preference. I mean, I always, as I've said many times already in this video, Fitted is going to look best, but oversized can be really stylish. Like I have this maroon one that's oversized and really comfortable and ends up being almost a little bit warmer as well because it does have that extra material. Category five is workwear. Workwear is crushing it right now, guys. I am loving the classic heritage vibes of so many pieces that I'm seeing out there. It's very stylish, but again, in a similar way to the chore jacket, the more you wear this, like a dicky style jacket like I have here with like the duck brown canvas, love that, beat it up. Wear it a bunch because it's only gonna get more and more comfortable and a lot softer as well. These are gonna be a little bit more on the warmer side, so wear it with your really casual, easy outfits, some boots and some jeans or whatever, but keep it just simple. You don't have to overdo it because a jacket like this is so stylish on its own. I would almost recommend going a little bit oversized, not crazy, but to the point where you have enough room to breathe in it because you are probably going to be layering it over at least one other thing, sometimes maybe even multiple layers. And finally, our sixth category of jackets for the fall 
is the trench coat. Now this is obviously an extremely classic style of jacket, especially when you're trying to dress things up a little bit. I think of it as sort of like an overcoat during the fall. So you can wear it in all the same ways that you would wear a longer style overcoat in the winter time. So in a casual way, it works great. In a little bit more of a formal way, if you need to wear something over a suit for a certain type of event, a trench coat is gonna work for all of that. For fit, obviously I have this one that's super oversized, but you know, again, if you are gonna be wearing it in a little bit more of a formal way on a regular basis, I would probably recommend getting something that's gonna fit you a little bit more snug, a little bit more fitted. Whereas if you're gonna be wearing it a little bit more casually and fashion forward, then oversized might be the way you wanna go. And there you go. Six of the best fall jacket categories for you to go shop for yourselves. I put links down in the description to some of my favorite fall jackets that I found out there on the internet. So if you guys do wanna grab one, there's stuff down there. You also know how they should be fitting and what different occasions you can be wearing each style in, which is really helpful as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go follow me on Instagram to see how I am styling all kinds of different jackets. I'm obsessed. I am constantly getting new ones in because I honestly believe you cannot have too many. I just think it's a perfect way to differentiate yourself during the fall and the winter. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.